I need to be honest, these are some confusing signals. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, in today's video, again, amazing charts, also amazing news, and also, of course, an amazing inspirational quote at the end. But there are some confusing signals, bearish and bullish. I'm going to talk about that because it's very important for you to understand that there is a bearish scenario and a bullish scenario. Now let's jump into that news first, that's also very shocking at the moment. The news for today is that the United States of America again were moving 10,000 bitcoins. At the moment they hodled 203,000 bitcoins, which makes them the biggest geopolitical hodler of bitcoin. So the United States, when it comes to countries, are the biggest hodler and they're moving again 10,000 bitcoins. They already sold around like 30,000 bitcoins or something in the last couple of weeks. Now again moving 10,000 bitcoins to a new wallet of which we don't know who owns the wallet. Are they selling their bitcoins? Where are they selling their bitcoins? And why are they selling their bitcoins? My opinion, the United States selling their bitcoins now at these price levels will turn into a shitload of memes in the next 12 months. Same will happen to Germany that sold their Bitcoins. Yes, that will turn into shitload of memes in the next 12 months. Because countries selling their Bitcoins in this phase of the bull market just really didn't do any research. Just like they never do research on anything. All what we experienced the last couple of years, there was no research done. They just said, ah, let's do this. Maybe that will help. And now again, they don't research Bitcoin they sell Bitcoin exactly at the wrong moment, they will cause a shitload of creative people to create a shitload of memes in the next 12 months about those governments selling their Bitcoins. Guys. So even when Trump is saying, hey, we want to become the biggest Bitcoin country, we want to hold 19% of all the Bitcoins around, just like they have 19% of all the gold around, even Trump saying this, the current government, Biden and Kamala, don't forget this, Kamala is part of that current government, she's the vice president, they are selling their bitcoins. So do you really think you should be voting for Kamala? She will never turn into a bitcoin pro president. She will be against bitcoin, she will keep selling their bitcoins. Before she's president, maybe they already sold 203,000 bitcoins and then Trump needs to buy them all back again. But then again, if Trump needs to buy all those bitcoins back, yes, that will push the price up again after it may be dipped. But believe me, when America is selling, there is a lot of, lot of big wheels buying up those bitcoins. All the spot ETF companies, they will be buying bitcoin and yes, America will be poor and other countries will become maybe a little bit more rich in the future because they hodl their Bitcoin or they accumulate their Bitcoin like El Salvador. By the way, there's one country of which we don't know sure if they still hold all the Bitcoins and they would have more Bitcoins than the United States and that's Bulgaria. Because there has been a news item a long time ago that they uh, also confiscated a shitload of Bitcoins from the Bulgarian mob and that was more than 250,000 Bitcoins at that time. So, so let me know down below if the story about Bulgarian government holding a shitload of Bitcoin is true or not. I don't know for sure, I do remember I read an article but I don't know for sure let me know down below. Now let's jump into the charts to see how Bitcoin is hodling in these times. The first chart where we talk about guys is this four hour chart on uh, Bybit of course. We can see that yes there was a sell signal, we were taking profits over there from this buy signal. Uh, the price is dropping again, now we just wait for another buy signal. Where is the support? The support is at 57,500 and the ultimate support here at 56,000. If we drop below those levels, guys, then you need to think about 53 to 52,000 US dollar per support levels. But first, let's see uh, how far we will drop. The low in the last couple of days was uh, at this level over here is 57,555. Now, uh, we had now another low of 57,787. So we could drop a little bit lower, but the bottom band is touched. Let's see where we will go, guys. For me, this is just part of this huge sideways movement that we have seen in the last couple of weeks, guys. I'm not freaking out, I am just zooming out. But there is a bearish chart I want to share with you and also a bullish chart uh, that will show you the comparison on what bears think and what bulls think at the moment and I will give you my ultimate opinion at the end. 
Now this is the day chart. On the day chart, we can still see that candle with a large wick over there. We are working our way up. We need to break the 200 day moving average. We haven't done that. This blue line crossing the green line is not positive. That could lead to another dump uh, to around that 52, 53K level. MACD also flipping red again because the blue line did not cross that red line. When we cross that red line, these bars are flipping green again. There is more bullishness into the market and we can see that ultimate push that we're want to see guys. If you want to trade all of this, then do trade on Bybit uh, using the links down below, sign up and claim your bonuses. Also Blowfin, you can win a shitload of prizes and Apex Pro is the best decentralized exchange out there guys. If you don't want to trade yourself, but do want to make profits, uh, then you could use this product. This is our product, Trade with Sequence Bots. There's a cooperation between the Bitcoin family and Sequence we offer uh, to our clients and you can trade on Bybit automatically using a bot. So we connect your Bybit account through an API key to our bot and it will start trading for you. You just can read all of this on the bitcoinfamily.com. The results are amazing of this bot, guys. If you check this chart over here, you can see uh, the PL in total was $10,200. This bot that we are sharing publicly is trading with one Bitcoin since the 11th of February this year. Uh, we had 198 closing uh, long orders and they were all 100% closed in win. So that leads to a $10,275 profit. But I am trading, um, of course, inverse derivatives. This means we are trading to accumulate more Bitcoin. And the account started with one Bitcoin. At the moment, the account is at 1.206 Bitcoin. So almost 1.21 Bitcoin, which means it's a 0.21 Bitcoin profit from February to August. So that's a 3 to 3.5% uh, an average a month, exactly what we said. It would be 3.5% passive income. So that's why um, I share this public, uh, publicly so you can see that it's trading and doing and making profits. Um, if we would need to check now at the moment just to see what is happening. So let's check now if there is any trades at the moment going on. We can see it over here. Um, at the moment, we are on a trade of 3,325 in quantity. Um, we are at the moment a little bit in loss. There is a lot of orders set over here. These orders are set at the levels of 51,600, 54,800, 57,000. So when we reach those levels, we will be buying more and more into Bitcoin. Then when we return again uh, to the other side of the chart bullish, we will be selling again and taking on profits. So just remember this one made a shitload of trades and all of those trades were closed in profit. That is what a bot is doing for you when it works perfectly. Now let's jump into some other amazing charts to show you that bearish and bullish scenario. First of all, over here, guys, this is the first chart. On this chart, you can see that there is a thing happening that we just don't like, that I don't like. And the thing that is happening that I don't like, and that's the bearish scenario, is that that purple line on the bottom over here is trying to cross the yellow line. This is a monthly chart. So this candle is going to close in around 18 days. Now, if we close, down below the yellow stepping line with a purple line that is bearish. Just look into the past what happened. Over here, this was the top of the bull market when we crossed that line. Over there, when we crossed that line, that was the top of the bull market. Over here, when we crossed that line, that was the top of the bull market. So if we cross this line, that could be the top of the bull market. Now, let me reassure you that it's not like always the case, but it's not bullish. Just look back now, for example, to this period over here. Here, this looks similar, it's a 2019 run, then we crossed that line two times, the second time is the COVID crash, but we crossed that line, but we just continued the bull market all the way into 2020, 21, till we had a bull market up around 70k. So this was a run from 3k to 14k, back to 3-4k, up to 70k. So there was a moment we crossed that line during the bull run over there. In the 2017 bull market, we didn't cross the line. We stayed happily above it. This one, we did cross the line, but we still ended positive a year later in 2021. Now, this looks a little bit like this move over there. So the 3k to 14k run over here, it's a 16k 
to 70 k run. And if we cross it, it doesn't mean the bull market is definitely over, but it does mean we could go a little bit more bearish or sideways for a longer time. Because look, the moment we were hovering around that yellow line, is this period over there, the price was going down, go with crash, up and sideways. This sideways movement took a very long time. Every candle is a month. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months. It's a year of sideways movements. Very boring. We don't want that now, but it could happen. We could cross this line and then go 12 months sideways around these levels before we pump up next year, September, October, November, December. I prefer, of course, the scenario that we just bounce from here, go up to around like like 100k, like 90k, something in that, take an autumn high, then have another dip in January, February, and then build up again strongly into the last run of the bull market in 2025, uh, September-ish to December-ish. So let's see, but these charts are showing you a very bearish outlook on Bitcoin at the moment, but still needs to close in 18 days. And in 18 days, Bitcoin can go very quickly from 60k levels to 70k levels, for example, and then that line will be pointing upwards instead of downwards to that yellow line. Guys. Now, then let's go to some more positive news. So more positive news is this chart. This is also a monthly chart, guys. Whenever we see this red line turning green over here, it is bullish. Every time again and again, when that line turns from red to green, we can see what it did with the price. Bullish. So this was the previous top, $1,200. The bottom, $200. Here we reached $1,200 again. And we went sideways for some months. One, two, three, four, five months. We retested that line a couple of times before we went up and bam, to 20K. Then 20K was a new top. In 2020, again, bottom first. We went back to the top level of 20k. It took us five candles of retesting before we bam went up from 20k to 70k. Now we see again the same. This was the top. We came back to the top. We are retesting the line already for six months before we will probably take off again into this huge run to 100k plus. And yes, that red line indeed turned green again. And when it turns green, that is bull market on. And when it turns red, yes, it's bear market again. But at the moment, this area looks perfectly like this area. A little bit sideways, slowly moving up, slowly taking a distance from that green line before we take off into this huge run all the way up to above 100K for Bitcoin, guys. Now, then the last chart that I want to share with you guys is this one. Every time when the halving happens, we can see what happened with the price after. This was the halving over there in 2013 that happened. This was the halving over there in 2016, we went up. This was the halving over there in 2020, we went up. This is the halving now in 2024. If people expect the Bitcoin price now to go down, okay, there is a possibility, but not likely as we look at the past and the past is showing us that the Bitcoin price always went up after these halvings, guys. So I don't see any reason why the Bitcoin price this time would go downwards. I do believe, again, we will see a move like this one or this one massively up to above 100,000 US dollar. Not 700,000 US dollar. I'm very happy already when we go to between 100 and 200,000 US dollar over there. And no, I don't believe 700,000 US dollar, but I believe somewhere between here, one and 200K, that would be a beautiful square. And also in line with the other squares, look, big square, smaller, a little bit smaller, and again, a little bit smaller, somewhere between there. So that would be a beautiful top between 120 and 160K. Amazing charts. The sun starts to rise, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Yes, again, amazing trading opportunities. There was a big short over there, or it was taking your profits at that sell signal. Uh, and again, long term, nothing really changed. Yes, there is a bearish outlook, and you saw the chart. If you're going to cross those two lines, normally that would be the end of the bull market, aside of 2020, when we recovered and came up again. So we never know, but this is not a bullish move, that it's a bearish move. The other chart, on the other hand, is showing you that this is also a copy of what we did in the previous bull markets, when we turned from red to green, 
and retest that line, after that moment, we will take off into that last part of the bull market. I am a believer of that second scenario, bullish. I believe we are just retesting that top line. We turn green, it won't take long, mid to end of September, and we'll start to take off all the way till the end of the year to create a new all-time high. Not a bull market top, that will happen in 2025, but an all-time high definitely gonna happen in 2024. Now, that were the charts, so always remember you need to zoom out in Bitcoin, look at that bigger picture, and zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day. Now, let's jump into the inspirational part. In the last eight years of traveling, guys, I have experienced a lot of contacts with a lot of people. And of course, yes, I had a lot of conversations. And in many conversations, every time the same thing was said, they are against me. Those friends are against me. Those people are against me. And I think people need to start to realize that they are not against you. They are for themselves, just like you are for yourself. That doesn't mean that you're against all those people. You just choose to be for yourself. You choose to trust yourself or to believe yourself more than other people. It doesn't mean you're against those people. Against those people would mean that you would be attacking them continuously. Attack them, attack them, attack them. But if you choose to believe yourself, to be yourself, to be for yourself, that is not being against them. That is just leading your life the way you want to lead your life. And if they don't like that, that is their problem. That is their issue. They need to solve that envious issue. You shouldn't be solving that. You should only be focusing on yourself, what you love to do. What are your dreams? Which are dreams do you want to go for? What is the thing that you want to achieve in life? What makes you happy? Those things count. What all those other people think of that is not your issue, that's their issue. And that doesn't mean they are against you. They are for themselves. They just believe what they believe, and that could be something completely different that you believe, but it doesn't mean that they are against you. So don't feel it like that. And if you slowly turn into that mindset that not everyone is against you, but they are just fighting for their own rights, for their own beliefs, then life becomes just a little bit more easy because then you don't need to consider their opinions, etc., anymore, because then you can completely focus on yourself, what you want, what you want to achieve, who you want to be who you want to love, not what they want, because they are just choosing for themselves, not for you. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's short video again. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts and everything else? And guys, for all those people commenting, do you stop shilling those Bybit links, stop selling those Blowfin links? I won't. I am working my ass off every day again and again to create content for you. And I will never let you tell me to not earn a little bit of Bitcoin because of all the time that I'm investing in educating you guys. So stop asking me to stop sharing all those links. Here are they again. If you want to trade, trade on Bybit. You get a shitload of bonuses up to 30,000 US dollar and a $500 air belt. And at the moment on Blowfin, you can win a Tesla 3 or you can win a Ninja Kawasaki or six other prizes. Plus, you get a 15% deposit bonus. And Apex Pro just convert to Apex Pro Omni, which has a shitload of bonuses as well and is the best decentralized exchange out there. So if you want to trade, trade on these. And yes, maybe I could be earning a little bit of commission, but you should not be envious. You should be loving that I earn a little bit of commission for all the work I've been doing in the last eight years of creating content all over the world about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now, I wish you an amazing day. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam.